what God has said stands forever. The word of the Lord stands forever. I do not, I do not equate the Bible with the word of the Lord. I equate with what with, 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 with the scriptures say that it is scripture. The word of the Lord is given by prophets and teachers and stuff like that. It is spoken, living and active, not dead ink on a paper. That is recording of what the word of the Lord, this getting another issue, I guess. That's a recording of what the word of the Lord said. And if his if his word lasts forever, even if you take the scripture and say his word lasts forever, and yet parts of it are invalid for the for the current for the church that exists today, it's not true. But the whole structure of coming together as a family is not emphasized, uh, nor unless it's outside of the formal things the church does, even permitted. Meals are seldom shared together, and the Acts 2 says they broke bread daily. Well, they met together in homes, you know, they went together in homes and, and broke bread and all this other stuff. And the fact of the matter is, the, 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 the scriptures do not promote a preacher, a permanent preacher, ever. <clears throat> Um, t Paul said to Timothy, appoint elders in every city in Crete. That's why I left you in Crete, so you'd appoint elders. So you could have somebody to guard, to shepherd the church when you're not there. He couldn't take care of all those cities. Paul couldn't be a preacher for all those cities. When he left, who was a preacher? There was no preacher because it was a family of God. Let the children speak. Let the men speak. Let the women speak in the church of God. Um, well, there's appropriate um, form for things to take on. That doesn't that mean that that doesn't mean there should be that should be uh, um, a really tight gripped, you know, restrictive meeting. While there are ways God would like things to be handled, that doesn't mean that anybody can't participate in. In, um, in, in the family of God. That everybody has a song, Paul said. Let everything be done in order. Everybody has a word of prophecy. Let everything be done in order. And um, because the family was not uniting, and that happens uh, when you plant a church, you're going to get people that don't know how to behave towards one another. But... Um, The structure has to be there. The children have to be there. And I'm talking about, you know, I was talking about physically before, but um, spiritually, whether they're physically immature, you know, they're, they have developed um, as far as they can't speak for themselves as much, you know, they, you know, you st adults start talking about something, they might get lost. Whether they're, whether they're children intellectually or children that just, they just become Christians, um, they must be. They must participate. Um, the fathers that um, John mentioned, I believe, was in First John one. Either that or First John one or First John. Maybe it was First John two. First John one. First John two. It's in the book of First John. Um, that the fathers must be there, you know, to um, to be an example for the children. The young men going in strength, helping to lead, you know, perhaps uh, uh, helping to lead the children. Perhaps the fathers helping to lead those, the, the, the young men. Or, you know, the youth of the church. Um, but there is no scriptural basis. I'm still waiting to get to the book, Page in Christianity. I haven't gotten to that yet. I told somebody. I was going to get to, to that book. He thinks that he, somebody on, on the internet, he thinks he's great. You know who you are. I haven't talked with anybody else on it about pagan Christianity. And um, when we have something wrong, hopefully we reform it. It's like a lot of people in, in, in public schools. They say, well, I don't want my children being taught by public educators for various reasons. Um, for one thing, maybe I don't want them to get to I'll be on a bus all that long time, wasting their time. I don't want you know stuff like that. I I want I can educate my kids better. I want to be around my kids. 
I want to bring my kids up the way I want to bring them up instead of just delegating them away with their with their peers, you know, and somebody to tell them, you know, to read some book or something, you know, and and uh, which is, you know, I, I'm all for reading books. I love reading books, whatever the book is. Well, you know, if I like it. <clears throat> but, okay, read this book, write a book report, and they have, you know, their parents aren't raising them. To some degree, the state is raising them. Um, you, you know, people, and so people say, I want to reform this. I want it to be under my control what my children are learning. I want it to be family in the church of God. Um, so, um, when you have a structure that's dying or that's just been dead and people still keep, keep adhering to it, let the world, let the world and the worldly people go to church. There's a user on here, a young user, says he doesn't go to church. Um, uh, waiting for Christ. And I, I forget what he said, but basically he didn't see, see it as being useful to him. Um, <clears throat> it, it's not... It was never, never, ever, ever God's establishment to establish uh, the, the, you know, the four-corner four corner church like we have to see today, or the four four wall church like we see today. And God never established a church building. And the concept, go to church, was like saying, go to family. Or are you going to go to your family today? My family? I said, well, my family lives right here. The kids are coming back soon. <clears throat> well, you've got to go through this ritual. Which in, in many churches, I don't, want to, I don't want to pick any churches out at this point, but in many churches, it's very formulaic. And people say, oh, that is, I feel spiritually much better. I've gone to church. Well, on the whole, that's an indication that you're spiritually dead. Just like the people who attend church. It's a structure that let the world have it, let it continue, but let, but you know, this false image of what Christianity is, these false Christians and false institutions, let it continue. But, let the people of God do what God commands them to do. Be the family God commands them to be or to acknowledge. People that go to church and that the whole power struggle and everything, you don't have that if a house church is run properly. You don't even have that many members if a house church is run properly. You can't fit them all in your house. What are you going to do in the winter? You can't sit outside. If you're in a house church, it fits in a house. And you've got to have quite a bit of money to fit many people in your house. The love of God, the family, just like you have a, or a, have a, a physical family that hopefully loves one another, you have a, a Christian family. And I'm telling you, uh, in my experience, I, I think I went through it before, there was, uh, like I remember his name now, my first preacher I ever, I ever knew that... I, that I ever, ever had was, um, oh, no, I'm blanking out again, um, Charles Fuller. When I lived in Virginia, he's very well known. He was on the radio. I've heard him on the radio um, when I was a kid. My mother turned him on. Charles Fuller, and I've had, you know, on and on and on, um, all these ministers, and they can't do anything for me. And I find out they're doing a lot of dirty stuff behind because they know that it's not a moral situation. <clears throat> it's not a spiritual situation. It's a form of religion denying its power. Um, you know, as the Bible says. And you've got, you know, maybe 15, 15, 15 ministers and all that stuff. I've never, well, you know, I don't know if I've ever gone to a church or, or very few. I don't think any where the minister really was trying to follow God because he wasn't leading the people that way. Our leader is Christ. And Jesus said, and we are all brothers. You have one, you know, you have one teacher, the Christ, one rabbi, the Christ, and you are all brothers. So if we keep on, if you want to have people to speak, 
in-house church, great. But if you keep on exalting these men, then just realize the Bible isn't supporting you and neither is the Christ supporting you or God his Father. 